day everyone, we are now going to discuss about salaries and wages, piece rate, and business math from Analyze Math. Piece rate Worker employed on piecework basis is paid in proportion to the quantity of work he or she finishes. The rate used can be fixed irrespective of the quantity produced, in which case it is called fixed piece rate plan. In contrast, it can be graduated, increasing as the quantity produced increases, in which case it is called differential piece work plan. Exercises in piece rate Tanya is paid on a per piece basis at the rate of 2 pesos and 20 centavos per piece. If she finishes 500 pieces in a week, how much is her total earnings? Given, rate is equal to 2 pesos and 20 centavos per piece. Quantity produced is 500 pieces. Find total earnings. Now here is the solution. So 500 multiplied by 2 pesos and 20 centavos is equal to 1,100 pesos. Next problem. Emilia is employed to repack and seal pepper. She is paid on the following differential pay plan schedule. Quantity and daily rate per 100 packs. So less than 100 is 100 pesos. 100 to 149 is 106 pesos. 150 to 199 is 107 and 50 centavos. 200 or more is 110 pesos. For the week, Emma repacked the following quantities. Monday, 90. Tuesday, 104. Wednesday, 140. Thursday, 156. And Friday is 210. Compute for her total wage for the week. Take note that dividing by 100, we move the decimal point two places to the left. So, 11,024 becomes 110.24. Or, we can convert the rate on a per-piece basis. 100 divided by 100, that is 1 peso per piece. 106 pesos divided by 100, that is 1.06 per piece. 107.50 divided by 100, that is 1.075 per piece. 110 pesos divided by 100, that is 1.1 per piece, or 1 pesos and 10 centavos per piece. Then, we multiply the quantity produced by the piece rate, thus obtained Monday. 90 multiplied by 1 peso is equal to 90 pesos. Tuesday, 104 multiplied by 1.06 is equal to 110 pesos and 24 centavos. Wednesday, 140 multiplied by 1.06, that is 148 pesos and 40 centavos. Thursday, 156 multiplied by 1.075, that is 167.70. Friday, 210 pesos multiplied by 1.1 is equal to 231 pesos So this is now the result Monday 90 is multiplied by 100 divided by 100 is equal to 90 multiplied by 100 over 100 that is 90 multiplied by 1 that is 90 pesos Tuesday 104 multiplied by 106 divided by 100 that is 104 Multiplied by 106 divided by 100, that is 11,024 over 100, or that is 110 pesos and 24 centavos. Wednesday, 140 multiplied by 106 divided by 100, that is 140 
multiplied by 106 divided by 100, that is 14,840 divided by 100, that is 148 pesos and 40 centavos. Thursday, 156 multiplied by 107.50 divided by 100, that is 156 multiplied by 107.50 divided by 100, that is 16,770 divided by 100, that is 167 pesos and 70 centavos. Friday, 210 multiplied by 110 pesos divided by 100, that is 210 multiplied by 110 divided by 100, that is 23,100 divided by 100, that is 231 pesos. So if we have total these amounts, we come up with 747 pesos and 34 centavos. Thus, the total earnings earned by Emilia is 747 pesos and 34 centavos. Let's proceed to the third problem. Baby, John, Scott, and Joshua are working in a factory producing different products and are paid on a per-piece basis weekly. The following are the production for the week. Now, Baby, the quantity that were produced by her is 225. The rate is 150 per 100 piece. John, 168. So, his rate is 175 per 100 piece. Scott, 330. 155 per 100 piece. Joshua, 285. And 145 per 100 piece. Baby, 225 multiplied by 150 divided by 100, that is 225 multiplied by 1.50. So that is because we divide 150 divided by 100. If we multiply 225 by 1.50, we will get 337 pesos and 50 centavos. John, 168 multiplied by 175 divided by 100. That is 168 multiplied by 1.75. So we will get 294 pesos. Scott, 330 multiplied by 155 divided by 100. So, we will have two, 330 multiplied by 1.55. So, that is 511.50. Joshua, 285 multiplied by 145 divided by 100. That is 285 multiplied by 1.45. So, Joshua will have 413 pesos and 25 centavos. Now, here is the reference from Valdiwesa Nanet M. Shendi P. Waminal and Famila S. Saging. Business Mathematics, Cagayan de Oro City, DepEd Bureau of Learning Resources. Thank you very much for watching and listening. Please subscribe to Analyze Math for more topics on business mathematics. And goodbye.